Good evening, Double Dippers, and welcome to Epcot. Today, we are here to see Cool and the Gang. They're playing today. I hope I haven't missed all their showings. That would really suck. This is the last day that they're playing. They only play two days, yesterday and today, today being the 21st. Um, I wasn't able to get over here t uh, yesterday in time, but I was able to get over here, hopefully in time, today. Now, it says what days they're playing, but I don't believe there's a posted schedule for what times. So, um, that's my main concern. But, I also hope to see American Adventure, which is right behind that stage. So, um, there'll be a double, double whammy there. But obviously we are here on this nice warm weather day, but it's not too terribly hot. Um, it's supposed to cool off like it did yesterday. I do have spirit jersey in my bag just in case it gets a little chilly because um, it's been very windy this past couple days. Um, so hopefully that will continue. We can have a nice cool evening. I'm very much looking forward to that. But anyway, we are now heading into the park. All right, so just talked to the guest services team member here, or cast member. I don't know why I said team member. We're not in Universal. Um, going across right now to hopefully make the show. It starts in 15 minutes. Um, their last show starts at 8. Um, that, that was all he gave me. Um, so I'm going to try to catch this show um, and maybe catch their 8 o'clock show as well. But it all just depending on if I make it over there and uh, what they play. So anyway heading over across the lagoon. I'm actually going to take the friendship boats because I've never done that before. I usually just walk around. All right, well, you played the game long enough. You meet the players. I just met Tim Tracker, um, and I'll have Ian insert the picture that I took with him here. Very nice, of course, as the, all the, the vloggers down here seem to be. Um, he was very kind because he was about to eat something, and I asked him if I could take a picture with them but I was just like oh and I decided not to take the boat because there's like a mile on the line but that's where I saw him at was uh walking towards the boat dock and noticed the vlogging camera and I was like oh hey that's Tim but anyway walking around world showcase probably gonna miss this showing or at least not get a good seat for it so I'll definitely try again at another show okay so there's only three showings per day 5 30 6 45 and 8 so if you miss all three of those, and for them, they only play two days, that's it. So uh, we are here. I'm not seeing any available seating, so we'll see what happens. Now that my eardrums are ringing, let's go see American Adventure. Next show time is very shortly, and it seems like most everybody's joining me. Honestly, I'd hang this in my room. It's a very beautiful painting that they have. And here's escalators. It's been a long time since I've been in this building. All right, so American Adventure let out into Cool and the Gang, playing their last show here at Garden Rocks. And man, they are rocking. Rocking very loud. I would highly recommend some earplugs if you're coming to see any of the groups playing here. Because my ears were ringing for quite some time after the show. So just keep that in mind when you're coming with friends or family. There is a private event going on over here in Italy. Some tables and chairs and uh, catering set up. Man, well, I love to be a part of whatever group that is. All right, guys, I'm over here at the refreshment outpost, hoping I didn't make a bad decision. It smells pretty good. I got a blue li blueberry lemonade hard cider. Never had a hard cider before. Okay, I can do that. That's not bad. It's a lot of the. Uh, what am I mainly tasting? Probably the lemonade. 
the last thing you taste is definitely the hard cider. It's very good, very refreshing, very cold. It's a nice drink. I might drink the whole thing this time. All right, so I did some research for those of us who don't know, like myself, what a hard cider is, just out of curiosity. And it is fermented apples. So the difference between a hard cider and a regular cider is, you know, like apple cider, that's, that's just apples that are spiced with usually like cinnamon. Whereas this is fermented apples. That's why this has a very fruity taste and the uh, blueberries and lemonade complement it well. Also, I will like to say that this mainly tastes like cranberry juice, in case you're wondering. Good afternoon, Double Dippers. We are here at Hollywood Studios. Now, this is the last solo vlog, I believe, um, because after this, I don't think, I might have time to go to Magic Kingdom after one of my shifts, but my next two shifts before Anna gets home get out pretty late. So I think this will be the last chance. So I'm going to officially, hopefully, buy Tower of Terror and Rock and Roll Coaster tonight. I did not ride either of those the other day, and I've not ridden them forever. So that is my goal for tonight. And we'll see if it gets accomplished. Because there is currently an hour and a half left in the park. All right, maybe maybe lower the expectation to one ride. All right, so the only way this plan really works to ride both is if I manage to get a really good wait time as a single rider on Rock and Roller Coaster and manage to get in line before it closes at Tower of Terror. So we'll see if that happens. Also, I'd like to try a drink. Um, probably not the tune-in lounge, as I expressed before. The drink selection there didn't seem to like fit my fancy here. So um, might go to Oga's. Might try to grab an Oga's reservation, but we'll see how that goes. Tower of Terror went down earlier. I totally forgot about that. Until I looked at the wait time, saw so it was 115 minutes. Rock and Roller Coaster is a 45 minute wait, which means if the single rider Ryan line flows smoothly, maybe I can get in in half that. It might be more than that in the single rider. Honestly, you never know with the single rider. That's something that's not guaranteed. Um, you just hope for the best. So the line doesn't look too bad. I'd almost just wait in line, but like I said, I'm trying to fit in both rides. So I'm gonna go for the uh, safer bet and go to single rider. Okay, so it ended up being 40 minutes for single rider. So it saved me a total of five minutes given that the estimated wait time was actually correct. All right, well, we're here in the store. My hair is crazy after the ride. That was cool, little license plate pin priced at silver so I don't know how much that is but I like it okay 120 minute wait I guess we're doing this thing 45 minutes left in the park hopefully that time's a little bit off they tend to uh, over exaggerate some towards the end of park close so uh, I hope that's right I might have to give up on this one but we'll see <laughs> time since I've ridden that ride. I haven't seen this merchandise. I like the Mickey Mouse. I like the uh, Minnie Mouse shirt, the new ears, the hat, the leggings. I like this shirt. Let's see how much it is. 37. Okay. Very interesting place to have an art corner. I like this. It was with a 2010 animation gallery, the Waka Waka room. Interesting. Oh, these, oh, these are animation cells? Looks like 
that's the case. Very cool. Oh wow. Lights motor action. That's not been around a while. I really love this Animal Kingdom one. Let's see. Unframed? 95. Wow. Some races right there. So one thing I noticed as I was riding tonight is uh you know, Rod Serling comes over and he's like, this as you may recognize is a service maintenance elevator. It's like, and it's waiting for you. And it's like, well, but why? Why do we need to go? Those people just died. It's very interesting that it's just never explained. They're just like, hey, you're going to the Twilight Zone now. And we're like, cool. I get that's like the whole premise for the ride and stuff, but it's just, it's a very interesting point I never thought about. All right, Double Dippers, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm glad I got to ride both Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster tonight. I was not expecting to ride both of them. I was expecting maybe get one in, and I got both, and that was that was really amazing. Um, but I hope you enjoyed, and if you would, feel free to like and subscribe. If you'd like to do a little more, there's always a Patreon link in the description, as well as our store, all the merchandise of which I design myself. And don't forget that Instagram, because I usually forget to plug it. Um, we have an Instagram, Double Dip Disney. It's ran by my wife, Anna, who is out of town currently. Um, so it's a little inactive at the moment, but it's more active than it has ever been because I used to be the one running it. But with all that being said, I would like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a nice day.